Hi everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Defense Explained. In this video, we shall quickly understand the broad differences between a ballistic missile and a cruise missile. The first major and obvious difference is in their trajectory. Cruise missiles fly in an almost straight line and at very low altitudes. As the word cruise itself suggests, these missiles glide smoothly in the air before hitting the target. When fired, cruise missiles go up to a maximum altitude of a few kilometers or even less. They then descend quickly to low altitudes to avoid radar detection. On the other hand, a ballistic missile follows a ballistic trajectory, which is roughly the shape of a parabola. When launched, a ballistic missile goes up to a maximum altitude of 1500 to 2000 kilometers, which is in the lower earth orbit. This altitude is decided on the basis of how far the target is. One point worth mentioning here is that the International Space Station is located at an altitude of 400 km. Now you can imagine how far ballistic missiles climb above the Earth's surface. And this brings us to another difference, engines. As most of the ballistic missiles go much beyond the Earth's atmosphere, they use rocket engine for propulsion as opposed to the jet engine used by cruise missiles. The difference between the two is that a rocket engine carries its own oxygen to burn the fuel, allowing it to operate in a space. A jet engine in contrast gets the oxygen from the Earth's atmosphere itself, taking advantage of its low altitude. Another key difference is that while cruise missiles remain intact during their flights, ballistic missiles undergo several stages of separation. The used fuel tanks and seals are rejected and only the warhead re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Upon re-entry, decoys are deployed to confuse the enemy's radars. A ballistic missile is guided only briefly during the launch and most of the flight thereafter is along the predetermined path. Cruise missiles are at an advantage in this aspect, as they are capable of performing mid-flight maneuvers and can readjust their course making them precise as far as accuracy is concerned. That said, the biggest advantage of ballistic missiles is that they can carry massive warheads over a much longer range and are capable of hitting multiple targets, something the cruise missiles lack. When it comes to speed, ballistic missiles travel extremely fast and their speed can reach up to 20 Mach, which is roughly around 24,000 km per hour or 15,000 miles per hour. An intercontinental ballistic missile can strike a target within a 10,000 km range in about 30 to 35 minutes. With terminal speeds of over 5,000 meters per second, ballistic missiles are much harder to intercept than cruise missiles due to the much shorter time available. On the other hand, cruise missiles can achieve a maximum speed of Mach 3, roughly around 3,700 km per hour. They can go up to a maximum range of around 1000 km. Although a few countries are working on hypersonic cruise missiles that would travel at least 5 times the speed of sound or Mach 5, the currently operational fastest cruise missiles are supersonic ones. The most well-known supersonic missile is the Indian BrahMos missile. It is at present the fastest operational supersonic missile capable of flying at a speed of 3900 km per hour. So, these were the big differences between a ballistic missile and a cruise missile. I hope you found this video informative. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. See you next time.